only, it's not a wasp, it's only a bee. Okay. This, yeah. I'll this just, is a typical Aussie you shearing shed. Yeah. shed. I'll All show right. you what I can do. You've been an amazing tractor many years ago. We just went to the land of their land. Good morning! So today is Friday na mga langga and uh, ngayon na ulit ako nakapag-vlog Bising busy kasi kami ni Mark Hindi ko na nga na-edit yung video nung Monday pero edit ko siya today and i-upload ko din siya tonight So pasensya na busy ang lola nyo Ayan, well, We are so, busy, we were away last weekend for 3 days and we're And today up. we're going to the farm the farm, that's right. Yes. To catch up with Lauren and her man. Yes. Up in the farm, Morgan. a place long, about four hours away from Adelaide. It's a three long hours? drive. Yeah, north. Yeah. Um, no, it'd be nice. It's be a nice. long way, but. We've yeah. never been there. So we're going up to say hello. Yeah. Which would be nice. We'll barbecue and catch up with her in laws, her, his parents. Yes. Yeah, that would be good. Be your first time on an Australian farm. Yes. He's a grazier, so he they have lots of sheep. Okay. Yeah. Well, I heard last weekend they had a lot of rain, which is really good. A lot of rain, so it might be a bit green up there now. Yeah, we'll see. Which would be good for the sheep. Cool. So, we're just walking. I didn't want to walk, but I said I'm just walking. And we're going to have breakfast. Whew. Lovely. Yes. Lovely part of Adelaide, not walking around the city. Yeah. Tingnan nyo mga langga, nagbubloom na sila. Lobby. No, it's, only, it's not a wasp, it's only a bee. Okay. And... Yes. So, nagbubloom pala sila ng summer, hindi autumn. Yes. Yeah. Dito yan sa Botanic Garden. Gardens. There's so much mud on the top of the bird can actually walk on top of the water. Water? There's a lot of water in there, mud, isn't there? Uh, no. no. It's just mud, isn't it? Yeah. It's mud. A wet mud. Yeah. Well, is there a dry mud? So true. <laughs> Hello, mga langga. So, ready na kaming umalis again. Yeah, back right again. Um, papakita ko lang sa inyo yung tinahi kong dress. Ang ganda ng, ano, ng kulay niya. Nagustuhan ko yung kulay. Ayan. Okay ba? Para siyang, ano, sa likod. Criss-cross. Pero hindi ko siya inano na. Kasi tatanggalin ko yan. Idadalin ko. Ayan. Di ba? Ang cute. So, dalhin natin ang mag, ano tayo, mag video-video dun sa farm na suot yan yan yung tinahi ko anong oras na ako na tapos ka gabi siguro ano na um, 12.13 na anong oras na kami nakatulog ni Marco I think 1am so isarado ko lang yung ang bag ko and ito pala yung makita ko saglit lang and ito pala, in-order ko to sa Amazon. So, umorder ako ulit ng ibang klase na, uh, ano ba tawag ito pang waist, waist belt. Nag-order ako ulit. So, dumating siya kahapon. And maganda yung quality nito. So, sa Amazon ko siya na nabili. Tapos may nagtatanong sa inyo eh. So, yung pangalan niya is waist trim belt. Ayan. Ayan siya oh. Kasi ay yung ano niya talaga, yung quality niya medyo makapal. Yung isa, nalulukot siya pag nilalagay ko. Kahit mag ganun, ganun ako, nalulukot talaga siya. Pero ito, hindi. Talagang matibay yung quality niya. Ayan. O diba? Nakagalit tayo. Para palitin pa natin yung tummy natin. <laughs> Labi? Yeah. Are you gonna sleep? I'm depressed. Okay. So, isara ko na muna tong aking suitcase and then alis na kami mga langga. And see you na doon sa road.
magdadrive tayo pero inisip ko pa nga kung magdadrive ba ako or matulog muna and then magdrive later so ayan pagano muna ako hi guys here we are Friday afternoon driving this is our life now darling we drive a lot we drove last weekend down to Mount Gambia for holiday which was lovely and Diana drove for about an hour hour and a half each way <clears throat> today we're driving up to um, the bit north of South Australia just up near which is about three or four hours, hours away from Adelaide um, my daughter lives up here with her boyfriend um, on the farm and I've never seen it before so they invited us up for the weekend which would be lovely to see the farm um, it's pretty dry out here at the moment so I'm not too sure what to expect when we get to the farm but um, we're looking forward to getting there and uh, catching up with his parents and be lovely one it darling yeah sorry i can't look because i'm concentrating no you concentrate especially there's cars coming she's driving at about 100 kilometers an hour which is her legal limit at the moment being a learner which we have these little stickers up here on the door on the window so it's been crazy since i got back to work uh early january we this week we had australia day long weekend uh, i think i went well, i took today off friday worked two days this week which is crazy but luckily I've got my iPad with me so I can always check things but um, yeah but I think next week as of next week I'll be doing a few solid five day weeks back getting back to my normal working week and so will Diana because when I'm home a lot it's, okay. she can't focus really that well and she wants to chat and talk and do other things and she's got to do her editing and her videos for her two channels and it just takes time so but that's all right so now uh, all's good, just wanted to say hello and uh, we'll see you a bit later on when we're at the farm. Which, it is. Yeah, it'd be good fun, won't it? Yeah, it's exciting. It is. Will you just keep focusing, my dear? I uh, will. Let's right. see you later. Uh, Babu. Okay, hi. Hi guys, how are you? Um, we just arrived here um, in the shearing shed. We got here about an hour ago and we're having the big tour of the property. Uh, so you can see Diana here, and you can see my middle daughter Lauren. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so Lauren's up here on the farm, and she's just going to show us around a bit of a shearing shed. And yeah. This, I'll this just, is a typical I'll show Aussie you what, shearing shed. Yeah, shed. I'll All show right. you what I can. Show you can show you. us what so you can show us. Where the shed go in. Thank you. Yep. Um, we go in there. Yep. Yep. And then this is one of the dogs. <laughs> Hello, it's one of the dogs. What's? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, Hello, hello, it's very friendly, very friendly. <laughs> so the sheep come in here, yep, and what yep. happens then? And then um, they get like drafted into sections. Yep, yep. And then they go out through here. I hope this is right. This That's is right. Correct me. Yep, People they go this way. And then um, the shearers come up here and they drag them from here. So the shearers take the sheep from here. Yep, and they yep. drag them here and then they'll shear them like the shearers normally on this. Ah, so this is one of those machines they used to. Um, Hello, you're such a friendly little fella, aren't you? Huh? <laughs> uh, so this is one of the shearing machines they use to shear the sheep. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, yeah, then they shear them here and then they send them out through that gate there. And how long yeah. do you reckon it would take to shear a normal sheep? Um, five minutes. Yeah. Ten? Yeah. Five, five, ten minutes. Like okay, ten, wow. I know they're very, very heavy. Yes. And I know that in the old days they used to use like full big clipper things. Clipper things. Whereas now they have just like this machine. Amazing. But it's a very physically intense job, very laborious. Yep. Yeah. And then over here is where the wool gets passed. Okay. So what? the wool gets um, put on here. Yep. And then the wool passer will work out which is like the better wool, what, what's the shitty wool, stuff like that. Nice. And then they'll pick it up and then they'll bring it um, over to these kind of sections here. So you can see that bag there. Ah, uh, okay. So, yep. Yeah. I saw this I saw this wool here. Yep. And then um, this here is what they use to, like, they put all the wool in. And it compresses wall to wall. No, ah, oh, they put all the wool down there. Yeah, and, and then this machine will bail it together, basically. Yeah, and then you end up getting. Uh, and then over here, uh, what's called wool? Are they called bales? Yeah. yeah. Wool bales. And um, yeah, and this is the wool, the finished product here, and then it gets exported. Oh, hello. <laughs> the dog thought you wanted oh, to go. Oh, the Norse Express. Nice. Well, thanks yeah. for that. Yeah, no worries. It's um. Um, uh, and we'll show you. I guess we'll show you the outside pens. Yep. The sheep will come out of here and okay. then that's where they, they come out and then they get drafted again like along here and then they can, they might like spray them with stuff to protect them from 
lice and stuff ah, like that. Okay, yeah, and then they'll get yeah. sent out into this big paddock here. Amazing, and then isn't it? from there, um, they'll get put back into the paddocks that they've come from or where they're supposed to go next. Fantastic. Yeah. And so over here, I'll get the dog. These are uh, two sheep dogs. They are. Yeah. They're very friendly, aren't they? Very and they energetic. Love, love working with the sheep. They work all day. They do. Morning, guys. Um, just waking up and going with a nice morning walk. Diana's still sleeping in. She does love her sleep in the morning. So I'm just walking around the farm at the moment here. Just uh, going for a nice long walk along the main road. I'm not too sure exactly where it all goes, so I'm sticking to the main road this morning. Up ahead here, I can see some little flock of sheep. The sheep are very, very shy, I think. As we get closer, I think they'll just run away, but it'd be nice to get up nice and close and uh, see whether they want to have a little chat. But uh, no, it's fantastic here. It's um, it's beautiful scenery. It's uh, amazing. It's just an amazing place here. There they go. No, I don't think so. I don't think they'll stay. Off they go. So I'll just head back shortly. Makes a pretty good diner today. Uh, I think it's a big tour of the property. It's uh, some massive farms. They're going to take us uh, around the farm and show us what they do on a day by day basis, which will be fun. And I'm sure Diana will be taking more videos and showing what's happening. Duh. No longer working, of course, but you see this sometimes in the old farms. Would have been an amazing tractor many years ago. Hello mga langga, andito kami sa labas. Um, kasi tinutur nila kami, so parang hindi ako nakapag-vlog nun. <laughs> Ano, kasi si Mark yung nagbablog. Sabi ko sa kanya, ikaw na magblog kasi nahihiya ako. So, ayan, tinutour lang nila kami dito sa, ano nila, sa land nila. Napakalaki. Super. Well, over here is one of the old rainwater tanks. Yes. This home might have been destroyed, died many years ago. You've got the old stove oven here. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, with the old um, oven door. Yeah. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Cactus, yes. Big cactuses. Taking over. This is an old well where they dug it very deep. I don't know how deep it is. It might be 20 metres deep. It's a long, long way down. But they use this for the... Uh, to feed the... Uh, Give the horses enough feed, enough water. Mm. Just have a lot of big water troughs over there. Um, and uh, amazing. It is. Amazing, isn't it? So this is a uh, one of the old workmen's hut where the workers would come. You might have had two or three guys living there for a while. On the ground here you can see all the horse bridles um, for, for around the horse's mouth to uh, steer them. You've got a couple old saddles down here. This is amazing. I don't know how long ago this would have uh, been used, but um, this was in the olden days and it's just a bit of Australia's history, isn't it? Yeah. You don't often see back in Rojas. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> So the uh, technical name for this little fella yeah, is Sleepy Ass Lip Lizardus. <laughs> no, it's a sleepy lizard. Little Aussie little lizard. I reckon he's very related to dinosaurs and prehistoric times. Look at his skin. It's amazing. Mm. Isn't it? mm. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. They're normally a bit savage and they give you a bit of a. Uh, he's telling you, you wouldn't want to bite him. He'd give, a good, little he'd, bite. he'd give a good little bite back. He's got good little teeth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Come and say hello. <laughs> hey, you want to say hello to us? There you go. 
Look at that. He'd be around for thousands of years, won't he? <laughs> he's, yeah. he's going, they're going nowhere. It's pretty cool. Yeah. He says, I don't want to be on YouTube. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> so this is an abandoned homestead on the property. Yeah, it's nice. So if we go through. Yeah, it's very similar to the house or the same house that we, we live in now, but this one's just been abandoned. Oh. So if you walk through here, um, well, I don't actually really know that. Yeah, yeah, it's home. Yeah. Um, and then... What's down here? What's down here? Cellar? Mm. So down here is cellar? Nice. Okay. And... Yeah. And then here's just... Yeah. I don't really know much about it, but... Yeah. No, no, no. Looks like poo in that toilet, but I think it's just dirt. Hello, mga langga. Nahiya talaga ako mag-vlog dito. So, nag-stop naman kami dito sa parang, ano nila, yung parang shed. Ang laki kasi ng land nila. So, anong oras kami umalis sa, ba sa bahay nila? So it's already um, 11.32. Umalis kami siguro mga 9.30. So kanina pa kami nagda-drive-drive pa ikot-ikot dito. And then syempre nagsa-stop kami. Kasi may pinapakita sila sa amin ng mga um, parang sira na na bahay. So ayan. And then sila sa loob ni Mark. Yung ano ng kanyang anak. Yung partner niya mag ano daw sila magbo-bike. <laughs> But yeah. Sobrang hangin at um, hindi naman siya mainit yung hangin cool. Buti nga hindi um, super init yung hangin kasi kung mainit ay nako. One of the uh, huts that we get uh, fresh water from. Yeah. So if we need to um, we come out here get fresh water and they work from here as well. Yeah. Mm. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Delish. Is that rainwater? Mm. Yeah. So it'll catch rainwater, and then um, there's always a cup here, like in an emergency. And yeah. even if it's hot, if you just run it for a little bit, um, it'll be completely fine. Yeah. You just have to make sure that nothing died in it. So I'll run it a little bit and have a look at the water, because yeah. um, if like a bird or something yeah. died in it, yeah. obviously you don't want to be drinking that. No. Um, yeah. So this is one of the. Um, it's called a, a crutching shed and it's just one of the small sheds out here. It's one of my favourites because it's just so tiny. And cute. Yeah, it's nice. And then they um, they bring the that's yeah, some of the paddocks out here. Yeah. They muster all the sheep, bring them all in uh, and then they bring them in obviously through these things, through these fences here yeah. uh, and then they shear them, crutch them, whatever they want to do with them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's kind of one of my favourite places. It's very remote but yeah. I think it's quite beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> Sometimes. You must come out the front doors, maybe. Oh, yeah. Here we are, the top of the ranges. Having a look down. How did you find that climb, love? It's really nice. Pretty nice? Yeah. How are the legs? Feeling good? It's just beautiful, isn't it? Mm, so windy. So windy up here. South Australia at its best. <laughs> Just beautiful. So how have, how have you found today? Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. I enjoyed it, thank you. you enjoyed it? No, it's been fun. No, it's been a great day. Yeah. It's been a great day. Hello, mga lang Hello, mga langga. Dito kami sa labas. It's already what? About five o'clock. Yeah, five eleven, and we're just waiting. Yeah, we don't know what to do now. I just thought I'd sit here. Do you want to show the view? Look at the view. Look at that. 
background. Oh, the beautiful mountain ranges in the back. In the yeah, background. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really yeah, nice. Beautiful. Yeah, really nice. Just chilling having a here. barbecue tonight with Lauren's um, partner's parents, which would be lovely. Yes. So we're just chilling here for a little bit. We'll probably do a bit of YouTubing and a bit of reading, and it's just nice. Mm -hmm. Just sitting, just admiring how be the beautiful view. Yeah, we had a long day outside before. Yes, yeah, long day. Yes, driving around here. And it's really shake shake shake. Yeah, it, it makes you die. Very dusty and um, uh, very uneven roads. So we all got back after about four or five hours. They showed us the whole property. It's beautiful. Yeah. But it's nice. It, yeah. yeah. It's hard work. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna relax for a while. Good morning, mga langga. Today is Sunday na, pero andito pa rin kami sa farm. Sa farm nila. So, maaga kami ni Mark ngayon. Nag-walking kami ng dalawa. Um, andun nga lang siya sa likod. <laughs> Tingnan niyo yung araw. Lapit-lapit, diba? Yeah, so beautiful. Hindi ko nabidiwan yung um, sunset kagabi. Naiya talaga akong mag-ulag. Alam niyo naman ako, super mahiyain. Hindi ko alam saan si Mark. So, uwi din kami today sa bahay. Nag-ikot-ikot lang kami dito. Sagot lang, parang may nagtitik sa akin. <laughs> Sabi niya, may um, susunod daw siya sa akin. So, kahapon nag-ikot-ikot lang naman kami dito. Talagang ang laki ng um, farm nila. So, yung inaanong nila dito is puro mga sheep yung mga alaga nila. So, ayan. Kalimutan ko yung sanis ko. So, malapit to sa Flinders Rangers yata. Kasi, ayan. Oh, makikita nyo yung mga bundok. Eh, hindi ko alam kung makikita nyo medyo Hintayin ko lang dito si Mark, parang napapalayo na ako. You want to say good morning to everyone? I did. Ah. Well, here we are. An old tractor. Yeah, yeah this is, would have been one of the old tractors, love. Many, many years ago. Not working anymore. No, not working anymore, but... Uh, tumatakbong um, ship doon kaso lang, hindi nyo mas masyadong makita tumakbo sila tapos ayan oh, tuma um, <laughs> tumigil tapos tumitingin sa amin Yeah, I'm too much. 